Hello everyone, my name is Florence Nightingale and I've just been reading this fabulous book, The Wonderful Adventures of Mrs Seacole. Now let me tell you about Mary Seacole. She was an incredibly clever lady. Listen, she also worked at the Crimean War around the same time I was there. Now, Mary was born in Kingston, Jamaica, in 1805. Her mother was a doctress and would often create medicines to heal her patients. And Mary grew up with this in her childhood and wanted to be just like her mother. You know, something similar that I have with Mary is that we both wanted to go into nursing from a very young age. Now, Mary was a incredibly clever and soon began to learn all of these skills from her mother. When she heard that the Crimean War had broken out and all these soldiers were in trouble and needed her help, she knew where she needed to go. She was off to the Crimean War. Now first she applied in London to be one of my nurses over at Scutari Hospital. Unfortunately, she wasn't chosen by my ladies in London, but did this stop her? Most definitely not. She decided that she would go to the Crimean War on her own. So off she went, with very little money and very little connections. She ended up near Balaclava at the Crimean War and began to build her very own hospital. It was called the British Hotel. Oh, it was a marvellous place. Soldiers would come and be healed, or they could come and just get a good meal inside of them. Now Mary worked hard and she used all sorts of different herbs and spices to cure the soldiers. Sometimes she would even go to the battlefield. Yes, she would ride to the battlefield on her horse, her side saddles filled with all sorts of medicine and food, to go and nurse the soldiers on the battlefield. Once she was even shot at and fell off her horse. Goodness me, she was incredibly brave. The soldiers became very fond of her and they gave her a nickname. The nickname Mother Seacole. Now after the war had ended and she returned home, everyone, the soldiers and the officers, threw her a big party to say thank you. Now I think let's test to see how much you've learnt about Mary, shall we? Look, this is quite fun. We've got some questions that Mary wants us to answer. I've got the answers here, so let's see if we can play along at home, shall we? Right, the first one. Where was Mary born? Hmm, can we all remember? Yes, that's right, it was Kingston, Jamaica. Well done, that's our first question answered. What is the name of Mary's book. Oh, this one here. <gasps> I've given it away. The Wonderful Adventures of Mrs. Seacole. Here's the answer right here. Let's pop that one on. Hmm, what was the name the soldiers gave Mary? Can you remember her nickname? Yes, well done. Mother Seacole. What was the name of my place at Balaclava, Crimea? So this is the name of her hospital. Can you remember? The British Hotel. Well done. Now these two are a little bit tricky. Let's have a look. What four items could be found in my medical bag? Well, if we have a look at these two, I think I might know. How does this sound to you? Bandages, needle and thread, cotton lint and pomegranates. Pomegranates were used for treating dysentery and diarrhoea. I think these would be good in a medical bag, don't you? Let's pop them over here. Now, last question. What did Mary use to treat the disease cholera? Oh, we had lots of cholera in, in Scutari Hospital as well. Ah. This must be it. Mustard plasters, chamomile and mercury. Well done everyone. Fabulous job, you finished them all. I hope you got them all right. Now the last thing I want to look at 
is Mary's medical box. Oh, yes. We've got lots of herbs and spices that she used at the Crimean War. Let's have a look at what we can find. Oh, we've got lemongrass to treat fever, stomach ache, coughs and the common cold. Mm. Ooh, smells very nice. Ah, this is something I'm sure you'll recognise. Ginger to treat the loss of appetite, motion sickness and pain. Hmm. What else do we have? Ah, cinnamon. Oh, I like a good cinnamon in my hot chocolate, don't you? Used as an antiseptic to help clean cuts. Hmm, very clever. Last one, licorice root to treat infections, stomach pain and heartburn. Ah, well I'm sure you can find some of those in your kitchen cupboards. Do go and ask your grown-ups if you have anything that Mary would have used at the Crimean War. What an incredibly clever lady. Let's pop that back, shall we? Now I do need to get back to reading my book. It is rather fascinating. And don't forget you can buy Mary's book Wonderful Adventures of Mrs. Seacole or Hurrah for Mary Seacole in our online shop. Right, where was I? <laughs>